And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And a lot at stake tonight because it's the second leg of this particular tie. It's Panathinaikos, and they face Rangers. Well, an early goal could change everything, Derek. It would give the host belief, it would put doubt in the minds of their opponents and get the crowd on side. But having watched them in that first leg, it seems highly unlikely. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, they should control this match. And here's the lineup for Rangers. Todd Cantwell plays alongside John Lundstrom in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And so the battle commences. Oh. Showing good defensive judgment. Good technique displayed. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? And it all counts for naught. Now well, the pass not finding its target. James Tavernier. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Delivered into the box. Magnificent defending. Can they hit on the break? Ryan Kent has it and he's made headway oh stellar defensive work to get back and win possession will he finish and a goal now they've broken through 1-0 here Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. The aggregate lead is 4-2.
Bernard. Can he finish? Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this. And top-notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Moving forward effectively. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Kent. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. The aggregate lead they have stands at five goals to two. Can he take advantage? And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. On a tie, laden with goals, 5-3 here on aggregate. Nicely timed tackle. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Can he put it in? And a goal! And now the question is, can they come up with one more? Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. And they kick off.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Bernard. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, as it stands, they're on their way out, but a goal here would change everything. And the short option preferred. The inside route looks promising. Just made sure nothing came of that. Alfredo Morelos. Mancini. This is looking threatening. Can he get them level? And he's done it! Parate again! A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, you just cannot predict what's going to happen next. 5-5 five, five on aggregate. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. A very timely interception. Really bright looking attack. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, she was hoping perhaps not to have to blow the whistle, but in the end it will be a free kick. So a personnel change then. Well, he's got past his man. And he takes it on, but into the keeper's gloves. Twenty minutes to go. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. In it goes! A huge goal in this tie! As it stands, they will be the ones going through! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. And the aggregate advantage stands remarkably at 6-5. Foul there, free kick awarded. Well, the referee letting him know any more like that, and he will go into the book, Stuart. Yeah, he knows he can't commit another foul now. And all the way through to the keeper. It is a decent looking attack here. And the cross goes in. Well, relying on the goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps the minute. And played short. Palacios. No way through.
And successfully cut out. Back then to the goalkeeper. It might be. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. And time for the change now. So the corner played into the box. A routine save. And a goal kick is the outcome. the keeper playing at determined defending and that's it the final whistle and the hosts will go through well it was close but over the two legs I thought they were the better team they always looked threatening they had the better individuals and they were resilient when it mattered and then the final analysis a really positive performance from this man Stuart well he was on fire today not just with his finishing but also his general play that was a top class hat trick